In this video, I'm going to show you how to identify valuable customer segments by breaking down your customer lifetime value data. This will allow you to zoom in on the type of customer you need to target to grow faster and become more profitable. I'm going to use Shopify as an example, but this type of analysis can be done for any e-commerce platform. In an earlier video, I showed you how to measure customer lifetime value in a way that allows you to compare customers acquired at different points in time. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the actual comparison and filter out high value segments. So customer lifetime value can be broken down into three principal components, retention, purchase cadence, and the average order value. And you can increase CLV by increasing one or more of these three components. So in general, each component will be a function of customer attributes or properties. For instance, the average order value is going to be different for different age groups or the gender of the customer. And what you want to do is you want to divide your customers into different age gender groups, for instance, and then study which groups of customers have the highest CLV. So you can do a breakdown of the CLV for any customer property. So some of the properties that are fixed throughout the lifetime of the customer are the following. Demographics, so we just talked about age and gender. Those are fixed throughout the lifetime. The UTM parameters attached to the order that brought in the customer, so the first order, that would be medium channel campaign in the ad, the first product the customer purchased, the first category the customer purchased from, the purchase intent, which would be measured by the amount of days it took for the customer to convert. And of course, the cohort, so the year and the month that the customer uh, was first acquired. And our goal is to understand how CLV varies with the different customer properties, so we can use that in the customer acquisition process. So let's have a look at how we extract these properties from a Shopify store. So the first example I want to show you is the Example of UTM parameters, so knowing what channels, campaigns, and ads are bringing in the best customers, that's a common problem. To do that, you have to access the customer journey object, which is linked to the order object in the Shopify GraphQL API. And from the customer journey object, you can extract the UTM parameters, which are automatically picked up by Shopify. And then you simply include the customer journey query in curly brackets within your order query, as shown here to get this information. Another interesting property would be the discount given on the first order. So normally the retention component of CLV is sensitive to the incentive given on the order that converted the customer. So customers converting on discounts tend to be less loyal and hence this analysis will allow you to study the trade-off between conversion rates and retention rates. And the discount given on an order is also found on the order object in the GraphQL API. A third dimension worth exploring, which I already mentioned, is the demographics. So Shopify doesn't know the age or the gender of your customers, but you can use the full name of the customer to get a prediction of which demographic the customer belongs to. I'll probably do a separate video on that, but the full name is extracted from the customer object in GraphQL. Before I give you a demo of the actual analysis, let me show you what we want to do with this information. So we want tables that allows us to analyze the individual components of CLV as a function of the customer properties. And to get this, we need to extract transaction data with customer properties from the Shopify API. Then we model the CLV and we arrive at a data frame with CLV estimates, similar to what we got in an earlier video. And I'll put links to these videos below. Here we have an interface that allows us to do this type of analysis. This is a Python web application on top of a MongoDB database. And we have customer properties in the upper left corner. And that allows me to break down the CLV estimates and study what characterizes the most valuable customer segments. And this is only data from Shopify, from the Shopify API. We could also use Google Analytics to create new dimensions, but this is a good starting point. If you want to set up something like this, I recommend that you set it up on the Google Cloud Platform with BigQuery as your data warehouse, as this allows you to utilize your GA4 data down the line. And the architecture for such a pipeline could look something like this. You extract the data from Shopify's GraphQL using a Google Cloud function. You also do the CLV estimates with the Google Cloud function, and you dump both into BigQuery. You join the data 
if you have GA4 data, you stream that into BigQuery and then you join everything and you expose it in Luca Studio. And because GA4 is natively streamed into BigQuery, I think this is a future-proof solution. All right, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe for similar videos in the future. Thanks for watching.